Hi guys, it's Techie Guru, and I am bringing you a video which I haven't done in a very, very long time. I think the last video I brought you guys was about one or two years ago, which um, I apologize for because, yeah, I've just had stuff to do and I, I sort of really stopped with the channel. But anyway, I thought I'd make a new video just because, you know, my I had some good replies from a couple of my other videos, especially the connecting laptop to old monitor so I thought I'd give you another video just to show how easy this can be if any of you want to do this sort of setup as well so I think we're gonna get straight into this what we're basically doing here is connecting your laptop to your HD TV this is extremely straightforward I mean really straightforward but um, if you guys can't figure it out I'll I'll show you how to do that now so as you can see here we've got my 42 inch HD TV right here, Philips, and we've got a laptop on the chair there. So, um, first of all, you need is you're going to need obviously the TV and the laptop. Laptop with a HDMI input, you know, HDMI uh, socket, I don't know, whatever. Um, and the TV obviously will need to be in HD for this to work as well. So, we have got an, a HDMI. HDMI cable also will be required. So you can see there's the HDMI cable. It's running along here at the moment and it's here. Haven't plugged it in quite yet, but I'll get to that in sh I'll get to that shortly. Oops. Postpone. Right. Okay. Um and basically if, if you follow this HDMI cable around the TV, it basically goes behind the TV and into the HDMI socket which which is where it should be anyway if you have an HDMI cable. If you're using a HDTV, it's probably be the HDMI cable is probably coming out the back of the TV. So all you need to do is find that and unplug it from either, I don't know, your Digibox or even if, if or maybe not don't need to unplug it from your Digibox or Skybox or whatever. If you have a if you have two HDMI cables and your TV has two HDMI inputs, you can use two at the same time. So basically what you want to do is first go on your TV and go to your HDMI so go to your AV choices and click on your HDMI option it should already be there if you're using HD, uh, the HD cable originally but yep so it's set on HDMI and what you want to do is come over to your laptop and get the HDMI cable and plug it straight into the HDMI socket which is which should be on the side so I'll just plug that in for you now. Right, and step back. Straight away, that is it. Plugged it in straight away. Automatically, the laptop screen has appears on the TV screen, and the laptop is currently just showing the background. And that is that is if that's all you want to do, that is that is it done. I'll show you a couple of other things you can do if you if you want to, um, but. If all you want to do is get your screen to display on the TV screen, that's all you have to do, and you might as well stop the video right here. But if you want to go on to other functions like uh, extending, uh, duplicating, uh, changing the resolution, uh, what else is there? Turning one screen off, maybe all you want to do is use a laptop, I don't know why you would want to do that, but only display the only display the TV, only display the laptop, that sort of stuff. Well, we're going to straight into that. I'm going to keep the camera pointed at the TV for the moment while I use the laptop. We're going to right click on the desktop as you would normally and go down to screen resolution. Click on that. Now you're going to come to this, well, this, this thing, this will open, this window will open. And I have a couple of options here. As you can see, there's the two windows, one and two. And you have two buttons next to it, one saying detect and one saying identify. Click in detect will detect for any other um, screens or monitors that you have plugged in. So and identify underneath it will tell you which is two and one. So we'll click identify. Here we have the two there and the one there, pretty straightforward. And then this display that just tells you whether your you number one is the mobile PC display and what number two is, which is the 1080p TV. The resolution down here is where you can edit it 
to uh, change the quality of the screen on the TV. For some reason, it's only showing 1366 times. Um, 1366 by 768, which I'm not sure why, because it's 1080p, and I've just I just ran through this, and it was on 1080p. As you can see, these black lines are on the side here, which is um, which is kind of annoying. But depending on the size of your TV, um, depends on how much the TV you're going to fill. Obviously, if your TV is a bit of a weird shape, uh, it's not going to fill the whole screen because remember, it's getting it from this laptop, so it has to fit what the laptop is giving it uh, so depends re uh, depends really on the TV is what's the best resolution you can get for it but I mean I think I can this one can go up to about 1600 by I can't remember it was 1600 is the first bit but it can go 1600 by something it can't actually go to 19 uh, 1980 by 1280 or 1920 by 1280 sorry it can't go to that because um, it just becomes too big and my TV isn't the right size for that that size of resolution but so anyway just a bit lower it's still fine I mean these black bars are here which is kind of annoying but you know it, it's not that much of not that, not that much of a problem but uh, anyway yeah so that's the resolution right there multiple displays this is where you can change whether you want to duplicate these displays or extend these displays or show only one desktop or show only two desktop um, so if you click duplicate these displays what's going to do is and then click apply down here what they're basically going to do is show exactly the same on either screen so there you go they both have got exactly the same and whatever you do on one screen will happen on the same screen uh, will happen on the other screen just click keep changes to keep that and then OK if you, that's what you want to do, set it as. Uh, if you want to do anything else, extend these displays, I'll give that a quick show, click apply. And what that basically gonna do, is going to do is meaning you can extend the two screens, so you can drag programs or windows from this screen onto this screen. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of that. Let's keep these changes quickly. So we're going to drag this bring it over and it's on that screen and back again so that's that's what extending these displays do and that is pretty much everything you can do with this there isn't too much you can do apart from if say if you want to do extend these displays and your laptop is on the left and see that's what mine is set up like at the moment so two is the TV and one is the laptop but if I wanted to, if my laptop was on the right, and I wanted to extend it so everything moves off that way, so it's nicely onto the laptop, which is over there, which might be for you, you want to move the one over to the other side. So it's when you're moving windows from your TV to your laptop, uh, it moves in the direction of the laptop. And again, you can put it above and below, depending on where your laptop or TV screen is. And um, that is pretty much it. So I am going to click cancel, close that down, and go back again. And there we have it. That is it for connecting your laptop to your TV. Maybe you want to watch films. Maybe you just want to browse the internet on a big screen, watch video, I don't know, listen to music go on Skype, any, anything you want to do that can you can do on a laptop you can do it now on a much bigger screen in a much in a, in a higher, well, I don't know, in a nice resolution and while sitting on the sofa I mean if you get out a keyboard, get out a mouse, plug it into your laptop and drag them over to your sofa or something uh, it can make your experience of using a laptop or computer or laptop much better so I definitely, definitely recommend this, especially for watching films, it's great. If you don't have a DVD player, which I know everyone does, but say if you have digital films now, you can easily watch them on your TV screen from your laptop. So that is it guys, please comment, rate and subscribe. Well, comment and subscribe and please thumbs up the video. Any questions you've got about this, if it doesn't work, whatever, I'll try and help you out. Just post in the comments, send me a message, whatever you fancy and I'll try my best to help you out. 
So um, yeah, that is it guys. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll be uploading some other videos. If I get good feedback from this video, I'll definitely look into uploading some more videos. Maybe collecting the laptop to a, a HDMI T, uh, monitor, which is, you know, again, straightforward, but just thought it might help people if I were to make that video. So yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next video then. See ya.